there everyone, Aaron here. Welcome to another quick episode here at Gideon's Tactical. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite new EDC blades, the SOG Mini Trident. I purchased this about two months ago, and I gotta tell you guys, I am in love. I mean, this thing is a fantastic little EDC knife. You know, it's just the mini version of the original SOG Trident. Uh, this thing is a blast to carry. I love using this, so I know there's tons of reviews out there, so I just wanna do a really quick one for you guys, just show you a couple basic specs, and then we'll wrap up the video. So one of the main things that makes the Mini Trident so amazing is the blade. It's 3.1 inches, OS 8 steel, good Rockwell, holds a really good edge. SOG does, I think, the best with their cryogenic heat treatment uh, for edge retention on a Mini Trident, uh, on their uh, OS 8, and particularly on this Mini Trident. It's awesome. You have almost a full flat grind into a, it's basically a really high saber grind really high up there then you got that unsharpened swedge in that clip point i love clip points it's just great very thin blade as well so it's going to slice through you know cardboard and other man-made materials packaging real easy but it's got a little bit of a stronger tip there than say the sog mini aegis which is really nice it's a little bit more enforced reinforced uh than the sog mini aegis which is kind of what i'm rating this up against uh because of you know, the little reinforcement right there with the saber grind. So the blade is awesome. Got a really nice thumb rest there with the jimping. I mean, just a fantastic cutting instrument for EDC tasks. That blade was perfectly designed on the Mini Trident. Just want to show you guys a really quick shot cutting with the Mini Trident. That sweet, really nice thin blade. Does wood curls like crazy. Very ergonomic and comfortable in my hand love using this little blade regardless of its cardboard cutting rope cutting wood cutting the trident mini trident is an awesome little slicer i love this thing the other fantastic thing is the handle. The handle is really well designed, not too thick, not too thin, very ergonomic in my hand. You can see there my pinky is not wanting to fall off. I got really nice set of jimping, and then again, like we just talked about, the jimping on the blade, so my th thumb fits perfectly right there. You got really nice finger guard down here with some more jimping. Lightweight at under three ounces. You gotta love that. The glass reinforced nylon handle, good tip up pocket clip left or right so it has a really nice deep ride and you don't even feel it in your pocket and guys i mean again i just i, I carry this edc so often right now and i got bench maids and i got spider co's and i got all sorts of different blades kershaw's and this happens to fall it's find itself in my pocket more often than not since i've purchased it about a month and a half ago so great just ergonomics lightweight for the handle on the mini trident so there you have it guys, I love this blade. If you've been thinking about it, I would highly recommend it. I was able to pick this up on eBay for $35. You can easily find it on Amazon or eBay between 35 and 45 bucks. And I think it's totally worth the purchase. And I like it even a little bit more than my SOG Mini Aegis because of the ergonomics on the handle, which I think I already stated before. So uh, an awesome EDC blade, I would highly, highly recommend. If you've been thinking about it, pick up the SOG Mini Trident, you won't regret it. it this is an awesome little blade to be rocking in well, your everyone, pocket. Thank you so much for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical. Please subscribe, comment, like the videos, share the videos, and check out our Facebook page. You can find it on the YouTube homepage of Gideon's Tactical. Like our Facebook page where you'll get updates of upcoming videos. Uh, you'll get photos as well as upcoming gear, new gear releases, you know, that products and companies that uh, are released, as well as behind the scenes footage and bloopers that you'll never see make it to YouTube. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.